the Jakarta Corruption Court ruled on Friday that Golka Party politician Eni Maulani Saragi was guilty of accepting bribes related to a multi-million dollar coal-fired power plant construction project in Riyadh. In the case, which had also implicated the country's second-largest party as among recipients of the bribes, she was sentenced to six years in prison and a RP $500,035,440 fine, as well as order to return RP $5,040,000 in restitution. The court has also suspended her political rights for three years, which means that any who once served as deputy chairwoman of the House of Representatives Commission 7 overseeing energy and mineral resources will not be allowed to run for office for three years after her release. The defendant was proven guilty of corruption and several other crimes, presiding judge Yanto said is quoted by Tempo.co. Yanto said any was proven guilty of accepting RP 4.75 billion from businessman Johannes Badisutras Nokotjo, a shareholder at energy firm Black Gold Natural Resources Limited. In return for the funds, any and fellow Golka politician and former social affairs minister Idris Marum helped a consortium led by Black Gold and China Wadian engineering company Limited win the project, also known as PLTURIAU1, which is valued at around $900 million. Idris's trial is ongoing at the Jakarta court, while Johannes has been found guilty in the case and sentenced to two years and eight months in prison. Aside from Idris and Eni, the bribes were also channeled to Golka, some of which have been returned by the party. Ernie's verdict also shared a light into the role of state-owned electricity firm PLN President Director Sofian Basir. The panel of judges said any had introduced to Johannes to Sofian, who oversaw the government's power plant projects, and that the three had met multiple times before the project was granted to Black Gold. In one of the meetings, Sofian told Johannes that his company would get the project through direct appointment, however P.T. Pembankit Joe Bali, a subsidiary of PLN, must attain a 5% share in the consortium company that would construct the power plant. During the trial, Eni accused Sofian of having an important role in the bribery case. Sofian was said to have told Johannes that the project would be handed over to other companies if the businessman did not comply with the mechanism that PLN had required for the project. Das.